new document, file, new document, point template, next, selection of the printer, next, specify custom settings, next, single items per page, side edges, yes, rounded rectangle, the shape. I'm um, going to do a hundred by hundred label. One hundred. So the height and width goes in here. Next. Next. Finish. And then a label appear on the screen. At the top is your text box. The capital A. <coughs> Single line. And scale and size that by clicking and dragging the edge, double clicking into it, and you can change the fonts just here. There's a barcode feature here, press on that, select your barcode type. And to input your data into the barcode, you double click into the data source and then put your numbers and code. Close. Okay, to import images, a little cactus. Insert file. You need a black and white image to work from, really, but put on there. Okay, so you can put the numbers or dates with the text box as well. So if you want to put the date, and then if you, again if you double click into that, go into transforms, data type, you switch that to the date, and you can select the different format of which you want the date. Okay, so to print that, you go to file and print. <clears throat> so, in the settings, you need to tell the printer what kind of label it is. We're printing on a direct thermal label here, so in the document properties box, if you go into stock, and set the method at direct thermal. If you're using an ink ribbon, it will always be thermal transfer, but for this case, we're going to use direct thermal. Um, the type of label we're using is a, a label with a gap. Um, some of our labels have marks on the back, some of them are continuous. Um, select labels with gaps for this one. And three millimeters is a, a standard gap height, so we'll leave that. <clears throat> the post print action tear off or none. Um, if you're using a continuous material with a, a cutter, you'll select cut. For this one, we'll select none. If you're okay, those settings. Put three copies in the print, click print. Mm 